can we make a bigger brain so that we could act better? Another way to enhance your brain capacity is to increase the size of the neuron. If you become more and more conscious, your body and brain, you can use it in many, many more ways than they are using right now. So I'm a big fan of Elon Musk and uh, he's uh, on interplanetary travel and uh, that's what's on the car. You also going to Mars? No, not yet. <laughs> I, I don't have so much money. <laughs> but uh, so he's, uh, he's talking about evolution of human beings. He's, he wants to be buried on Mars, right? Uh, I think the last time we evolved was more than 15,000 years ago and we may be due for an update. Where do you think the human race is going to go in the next hundred or maybe even 500 years and how do you think we're going to upgrade? How are we going to evolve? I, I don't want to comment on Elon Musk. <laughs> well, he's made a nice car. Okay. <laughs> the first one that he made on the Lotus platform, yeah. So that was faster than a Ferrari, I drove that one. So I have no complaints about him. But <laughs> he must restrict himself to cars, maybe airplanes, maybe even a rocket. But he shouldn't talk about human mechanism, it's a different matter. See, there's substantial evidence, neurological evidence. This question has been on for a long time. Can we evolve into another place? A whole lot of people asking. Can we make a bigger brain so that we could act better, we could be more intelligent, we could do many more things? So neurologically, certain neuro neurological uh, scientists have explained this. See, if you want to increase the capacity of this brain, one thing is you must pack more neurons. This is how a lot of children are born with excess neurons. Those are the children who are hyper, very brilliant, but hyper and unstable. Well, the moment today doctors see them, they pounce on them and uh, because medical industry is a big industry, they are always looking for a victim. And uh, pharmaceutical industry is the second largest industry, so they pump something into it, they give some name ADD, ADH, ABC or XYZ. All the twenty-six alphabets have been expanded like this. But when a child is like this, this is not abnormal, this is normal. A whole lot of children are born like this, that there is excess neurons in the brain. If you just put the child to lot of physical activity, sleep and physical activity, proper physical activity, you will see by the time he's six or eight years of age, he will adjust himself. The body does its own thing to make sure it kills the excess neurons and manages itself. But before that, if you put them on sedatives and that kind of stuff, for a lifetime they may become dependent on the medication. Having said that, another way to enhance your brain capacity is to increase the size of the neuron. If you increase the size of the neuron, the capacity of the brain could expand big time. But right now as you sit here in a restful condition, more than twenty percent of your energy is being consumed by your brain. Your brain is only this much, hardly two pounds. This much body, this much body consumes only eighty percent. This consumes twenty percent sitting here. If you increase the size of the neuron, the kind of energy that it will demand, the body cannot sustain. So this is what the neurological assessment is. But Adi Yogi, over fifteen thousand years ago, said something very unique. People asked the same question. So Adi Yogi said, see, you can learn to use your existing capacity… capacities in a much higher way than the way you're using it right now. If you become more and more conscious, your body and brain, you can use it in many, many more ways than they're using right now. But if you have to physically or physiologically evolve, then the way the planetary systems are, some change needs to happen in the solar system because solar system is like a potter's wheel. It has spun this and it has reached its peak. How we know it's reached its peak is, if you know something about the geometry of the solar system, you know the… the diameter of the moon and the distance between the earth and the moon is hundred and eight times, and the diameter of the sun, you know those things. So. If you look at the human system, there are one hundred and fourteen 
junction points or chakras as they are called, the first uh, two are outside the physical body. So we usually don't talk about it unless it's for some mystical purposes. So hundred and twelve, out of that hundred and twelve, four of them, you cannot do anything of about them. They… if you take care of the hundred and eight, the remaining four operate by themselves, they have an intelligence of their own. We cannot do anything about it. So one hundred and eight is what is available to you. Seeing this, he says, see hundred and eight is already available to you. So the geometry of the solar system is like this. Unless some structural change happens in the solar system, you cannot evolve physiologically any further. But your ability to use the same thing in better and better ways is always available to you. So if you're planning to grow this along with Elon Musk, uh, <laughs> no. But can you learn to use this better? Are we not always learning to use this better, both body and mind? Huh, aren't we? Some people, of course, uh, downgrade themselves as time goes by. Some people are upgrading themselves, isn't it? It's possible if you're willing. Willingness means if you have to be truly willing, you have to be conscious. If you're unconscious, you have become unwilling unknowingly.